You have said that the expression, judge not lest ye be judged, is improper, and that in fact one should judge, and one ought to be prepared to be judged. Is that correct? Very correct. Okay. And yet, it, go ahead. Okay. Oh, no, go ahead. I was saying it is extremely difficult, uh, the judging of other people, and I wanted to ask you a question or two about that. And it's something I face all the time. I guess everyone uh, probably is judging everybody all the time anyway, whether they think they ought to well, be or not. To. Of course. Um, when do you classify someone as immoral? Only when he has done and done, uh, in fact, some immoral action. What I co uh, classify as moral or immoral, I will refer you to Gold's speech in Atlas Shrugged, uh, or the objectivist ethics in a book called Virtue of Selfishness, which I mentioned. Uh, there you would have see a small list of what are the virtues, what are the vices under objectivism, and uh, mm -hmm. that's not an exhaustive list, but it, at least it would give you the essential. And when s someone in action does something which you know can prove is an immoral, a vicious action, a sin, not a value, uh, or a vice, whichever you want to call it, then you have to judge him as he has proved. You never judge a person on mere potentials, and you seldom judge him on what he says, because most people uh, do not really speak very exactly, and on the basis of someone inadvertent remark, you would not judge a person as immoral. If, however, he goes about the country preaching immoral ideas, then you would classify him as immoral. Well, there are people that I meet who, who, are, who are mixed. In other words, they, they hold certain virtues, but then in particular situations, they may uh, um, uh, act against uh, the virtue or the sin or yes. the evil. Um, is that like you can't be a little bit pregnant, which is that if you're a little bit immoral, you're immoral, you're, your character is rated immoral? In fact, yes. Bec but the important thing here is the degree of knowledge that a given person has. Uh, if you do not know exactly the nature of what you are doing, uh, then you can't be considered immoral, particularly if it's a young person, uh, and it's uncorrectable. A person can make a mistake and correct it, but it would have to be a major crime for instance, if you catch a person lying, let's use that as an example, I would never forgive that at all. I would regard that as a top immorality and regard that person as immoral regardless of what kind of virtues he or she might have. Needless to say, if you have a robber or a murderer or a person who is systematically breaking the rights of other people, you would call him immoral no matter what lesser virtues he might have. So you, uh, in judging people of mixed premises, as most people are, you have to balance in effect uh, hierarchically the seriousness of their virtues and of their vices and see what you get in the net result.